um, the dust for getting clay. You want me to toss me the hammer? Oh, that's quick, actually. Yeah, it's instant. Yeah, it's instant. Nice. Cool. All right, I'm going to get enough stuff to make uh, what we need to make. So we're basically going to need... I'm going to start off by getting a stack of each. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. I'm going to uh, bash away at this stuff with a hammer. All right, guys, we're back. And uh, I actually finally got that last diamond that I wanted. So, Pahamar, I can make an autonomous activator. Is this really going to make it that much easier for us to get our ores and stuff? I feel like yes, it will. Nice. And while you did that, I made an iron chest, and I'm about to make some obsidian pipes and gold transport pipes. Oh, did you ever get some glass? I need a couple pieces of glass. I have two glass, but I need it. Don't want to share? Well, otherwise I can't make pipes. I could see that being a problem for you. Sorry, I'll smelt up the glass. Um, but here's a trick. Um, so we need to get some invar. Do you know how to make invar? I saw how to do it with um, thermal expansion. Yes, that's pretty much correct. But do you know how to make it with thermal expansion? I'm foggy. All right, well, I'm actually not sure, but I'm pretty sure that we're going to have to get... I mean, I don't think I can combine. Let's see. So we've got nickel, which is basically ore dictionary with ferrous. So if we look at nickel, uh, we'll see that it's, um, uh, let's see. I know it's ore dictionary in here somewhere. Yeah. Ferris. You're going to love this. Yeah. There What's is no that? way so. to make Billcraft pipes. No? Billcraft's not on here. Oh, fail. That's harsh, dude. Why is that a thing? I don't All right. Know. So there goes that. So long story short. All right, so long story short, I know we need um, some invar. And typically to get invar, you're going to need to do some crazy amounts of power and stuff with um, thermal expansion. But I think I have a way to get around that. Dun, dun, dun. I think in here somewhere. Ah, yes. Do you want to look in the crafting table and see what I'm doing? Sure. Because it should sink and you should be able to see what I'm making. Yep, I can see. This looks like a grinder. It is. I actually have to cook a couple pieces of smooth stone. What we should do is we should take that igneous extruder and put it above an aqueous accumulator. Yeah. Well, those require redstone, which we're pretty low on at this point. Yeah, it's just because we have been aiming for it. Yeah. Actually, speaking of the aqueous accumulator, this sprinkler has been running forever. And we are building up water. We have a bucket's worth of water in the aqueous accumulator. So it definitely does use um, less water than it produces, even without water sources next to it. So that's actually working really well for us. All right, so we should have some cooked stone at this point. I wonder if I can I use I can an use... hopper with item ducts. Do we have lead dust? So I, this should work. I'm going to go in ahead and hope that it does. But if I grind some nickel... Dun 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 dun... I'm getting pulverized ferrous. Nice. And then if I throw some iron in there, I should be able to make our end bar. I'll be back in a minute, guys, when it's done grinding. And I'm going to combine these two with this. And we've got Invar. Look at that. Nice. nice. Yeah, dude. So that's going to go towards making our autonomous activator. All 
I'm not sure if that's the intended way to go about doing that or not, but I'm pretty pleased that I managed to come up with that solution. I'm just waiting for Jada to yell at us. Yeah, she's going to be like, what did you do? And I'll be like, I don't know. Some of the things. So I felt like our three oh, slab furnaces kind of bottlenecked us, so now we have another eight. Oh, okay. Cobble's cheap. I wasn't using that much. They're just I know. slow. Yeah, this is just about speeding it up. I'm smelting up all of our lead and all of our tin ore dust. Or dust. Okay, the stuff cool. we got in the reward bag. Nice. Look, we've got an autonomous activator. I'm really excited about this. You ready? Let's try this out. It looks like it's winking. Ah. That's not really what I want to use it for. The main thing I want to use it for is the um, the, the right-clicking the gravel thing. I'm just trying it with the left-click in there to see how well it works. So I think a player left-clicking is a little faster than that, but once we have enough autonomous activators... Ow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hurts. Once we have enough of these things, it'll actually um, go... We'll be able to automate the entire line if we want. All right, where is my crescent hammer? I need tin and three iron. And do we have any tin laying around? I'm sure we do somewhere. That's silver, nickel, platinum, gold, copper. We must have tin somewhere, right? I wouldn't know where it is. Are you cooking it up? I'm a cooking oh, cool. it up. Oh, cool, there's a piece of tin. Are you cooking up any, oops. Any iron in here anywhere? Oh. Well, I'm going to put this in here for now. This can be like our generically uh, our metals chest. I guess metals and, and gems. We have a lot of chickens. I think we need to murder those chickens. Yeah, I may have bred some of them. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, so let's get the Crescent Hammer. Cool. Yeah, my main reason for wanting to do this is to autonomously activate this guy, because this is the part that's painful. Basically, what I should be able to do is just place gravel in here and set it to first slot only, and it'll just kind of do its thing. Nice. That's actually working really well. So hopefully what I'll be able to do is come back. Now the only thing is how am I going to collect this stuff? I don't think we quite have the resources to make an ender hopper yet, do we? No, we don't. Okay. And you said there's no obsidian pipes? No buildcraft pipes at all. Hmm. All right, we'll have to come up with another solution. Yeah, there's certain things that aren't in here now, too. That's I was going to try fans, and that's don't appear to have fans. How can I pulse okay. uh, thermal expansion taking an item out from one chest and moving it to another? Like, do you want to pulse it, or do you want it to just go all the time? I want it to go all the time. Uh, then you could either put a redstone signal there. That's probably your best bet. So put a lever there next to it. That actually works much better for me because I can now fully automate this, and I can now Pahimar while we're while I'm breaking the gravel down with the hammer, it'll automatically be turning it into whatever with that. Nice. Nice. And then it'll kind of double it up. You want to show it off? Sure. Yeah. Uh, one sec. Let me get a few more pieces of gravel here. Here, come check it out. So all I've got to do is place gravel in the first slot here. And there it goes. It's a little slower than a player would be by hand, but 
it's also automated, so I think it balances out in the end. Nice. Yeah, totally. All right, guys, I'm going to start working on the um, Tangerous Construct stuff, so I'll be back once I've got some basic resources. So, Dyer, I got an idea. Okay, go for it. And I don't know if it's a good idea, but we'll give it a go. Probably not. I have, hey, I have an <laughs> item duct, I have some hoppers, I have an iron chest, and I'd like to okay. uh, make it a little bit easier to get the stuff that's in there so that it's not the person who has the magnet who has to hang out here. Okay. So one of our earlier quests, we got ourselves a potion of flight. Go for it. So I'm thinking, I'll drink this potion, and I'll route some item ducks and everything under here, and uh, get us an iron chest. Okay. But first, because I'm afraid this might not work, I'm going to give you all my valuables. Oh, okay. Actually, I have some chests, so I can just do this. Never mind. Yeah, it's probably a better idea. I don't have that much inventory space, because I'm kind of uh, getting ready to go do this clay thing, so we can get that smeltery. Yeah, I don't have anywhere near this inventory space. Okay, this should do it. Okay. So my thought is, we put an iron chest there. Okay. And Don't forget to drink goes. the potion before you jump off the edge. Nice. I have eight right. minutes of flight. Wow. Better put it to good use. I almost fell. Right. Oh god. What? <laughs> I almost fell. Really? While you do that, I'm gonna go get the clay going and the sand and the gravel. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. This actually isn't too bad. So this is the basic plan, guys. Get a bunch of clay, get a bunch of gravel, get a bunch of sand, and then I can make all the stuff I need for a smeltery. Do we know yet, Pamar, if a smeltery is going to double the ores that we're getting? Uh, we don't know. That is untested. Okay, well, we're going to find out in a little bit. Guys, I'll be back. Uh, the long and hard part of this is going to be when I go ahead and start breaking down a stack each of... Um, what I need to do, so I'll be right back. I got okay, cool. Things are going very silly over here. Oh, are you recording it for your audience? I am. They're like bundled up. Something odd has happened. Are they like lagging from just being too many in one spot? Wow, there's so many of them. We have uh, 75 down here. Mobs? Yep. Nice. I'm trying to see where the hopper ended up. Yeah, you were right. I don't think this hopper's working entirely. Oh, it's because it's not centered. Ooh, an Invar hammer. I'm gonna try that one out. Nice. I'm trying to break this yeah, break. chest. Uh, Only because I have an Invar. Oh, 
you know, it occurs to me too, like we didn't get that much. Like the fact that we did well on food is pretty good considering we had two mouths to feed. I know. Okay, well that's centered, but it may not be the best. Who knows? At least it made it a little easier. I got a uh, skeleton trophy out of it, though. Oh, nice. Each of those trophies does something when you right-click it, but I forget which is which. Oh, it uh, shoots uh, arrows straight up. Oh, nice. They are they like real entities or fake? They're real. They it take, seems. They hurt you. I'm not about to risk it. Yeah. Wow, someone could make a literally make a killing out here right now. Yeah. So I have two minutes of flight left. What else uh, do you do? What else would we like flight for? I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's a way that we could get that hopper to work properly with the autonomous activator set up on that thing over there. Because that's the one thing we can't do is collect them. Uh, do we have the other hopper? No, we have the Java hopper upgrade. What I'm doing is, with what little time I have left, I'm putting steps downwards. Wow, I landed just with enough time. Nice. So did you happen to see what I did there? No. Have a look at the start of the bridge on the way to the mob spawner. Look on the right. Oh, there's a way under, underneath? What does yeah. this lead to? Yeah. Nothing right now. But what it's meant okay. for is if we ever need to do anything down below, uh, we now right. have the ability to build platforms out at various levels. Cool. Which is something that we couldn't do without a potion of flight of some sort. Good plan. Can you, if you don't have anything to do at the moment, while I hammer up this gravel, see if there's anything besides the... Um, besides the vacuum mopper that can suck items up from a distance. I had a look. There doesn't appear to be anything. 
So it might be worthwhile for us to do the next quest, um, which is the Fungus Among Us, and see if we can yeah. get a... Because uh, they want an Ender Pearl for that. Right. Man, guys, look at Direwolf go. Doing my best. Hammering like a boss. I'm ready to record, by the way. I am recording. Okay, then I will start recording. All right, guys, we're back, and I've pretty much got what I need. Even though I think Pahamar tried to steal some of my stuff. I would never do that. Lies, you stole it. I need to cook things. There's your crescent hammer back, too. Oh, thank you, sir. Do we have any more? I think we've got plenty of coal. We had plenty of coal. Oh, there it is. Alright, cooking up some grout. Back when it's done. Okay. Alright, guys, we're back. Uh, we're actually doing really well on food, Pahamar. I know. It's awesome. Yeah, we're cruising. Like, I just tossed a stack of potatoes in this chest over here. All right, so let's uh, let's see what our first quest is. I need a seared tank, smeltery controller, mostly that stuff. Yeah, just one piece. So smeltery controller, I know is that. There we go. What else do I need? Uh, smeltery drain, which I'm pretty sure goes like that. Yep. And we need a faucet, which is something like this. And we'll need a casting table, which is something like that. And we'll need a piece of seared brick and a smelter glass. I'm ready to turn in, Pahamar. I am ready, as, am well. ready as well. Cool. All right. So I just uh, need seared bricks, seared and we're good to go. I see you still I need a seared, seared tank. Seared uh, close out and reopen the book. Still. What? Shenanigans. Really? Mm, let me check again. Now it's 100%. Ooh, okay. Okay. Uh, so because we have the two of us, do yeah. one of us want to do the slimy sapling and the other one maybe the peach sapling? Yeah, we're actually doing really well in lives, so I'm not worried about the heart. And the reward bag, obviously, is just crazy. I'll get slimy if you want to get Peach. Peach Keen did it. Cool. I am getting slimy. Claim reward. Cool. Slimy saplings are good things. So I'm going to put these seared bricks I got from that quest in the top small chest here. Okay, cool. I'll take them and use them to make a smeltery. Where are we putting all our hearts? In one of these chests around here somewhere? This one, I guess? Alright, uh, do you have somewhere where you can place this smeltery? Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah, I just want to grab some more half slabs, because I initially built up with half slabs, but then I realized the smeltery's going to look funny on top of it. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Yeah, I guess um, it would look like that. Well, I could always... Um, Mm, yeah, now nah, we'll want to build it up. I was going to say I could build it into the ground, but eh. Well, I can. No. Let, me, let me put the base in the ground. That should be fine. I'm just going to build it like right in the center back here. How's that sound? Watch your feet. Um, and then I guess I can use these other bricks that they gave us to build this thing with. So I'll put that there. I'll put the tank here. And that should be a smeltery. Is that thing smoking on the front? Cool. 
But because we got extra bricks, we can build it a little bit higher if we want. I think what we'll want to do is I can build up a couple more crucibles and we can get some okay. lava production going on over here. Cool. I like the sound of that. <laughs> That's cool looking. I want to I want to test if we'll get um, double the stuff from stuff. You've always been so technical with me. I know. Uh, I need some aluminum brass. So I know I'm going to need some aluminum, which we should have some aluminum in here. And I'll need some copper for that, too. So I've got a bunch of uh, copper. I'm actually really interested to see how much of this we get. But let me test it this way. Let me first get... Did you cook up any aluminum by chance? Mostly... Okay, no. So let me cook up some ores, guys, and then we'll be back to test out um, if we get ore doubling from this. Oh, I like what you did with the place. What What do you have there? A bucket of lava. Nice. Nice. And that should start smelting down the aluminum ingots and copper ingots that we're going to need for this process. Because I want to get some aluminum brass. Did the dust work for you? What's that? You were going to see if you could smelt down dusts and get doubles. That will be my test as soon as... Um, in order to test that, I need to get... Um, the dire um what do you see this green thing floating around on the platform that would be a wisp from palmcraft wow i'm guessing your mob farm spawned it which makes me a little nervous <laughs> you and me both i'm thinking we should uh put some half slabs back down over there so that wisps can't get out Is it going to hurt us? Uh, this one does not appear to, but some are hospital by default, and they are actually quite annoying. You have a bow and arrow, right? I do. Okay, good. Alright, I'm just waiting for some uh, copper to cook up here, guys, and then I have to install a drain. I'm going to wait until the copper is done cooking to install it. Yeah, that wisp is just kind of floating around out there. That's funny. That he that he even made his way, like, all the way down the tunnel. Because he can fly, right? So he literally made his way all the way down and out. Kind of scary, actually. A little bit. There we go. All right, I have an ingot um, thingy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going uh, we to got a problem. place... Oh, what? Uh, Wisp is not so friendly anymore. That one isn't? Bow and arrow time, dude. Did you shoot him or something? No, I was just actually trying to plant some stuff. Oh, he's coming for you. Ow. Have you hit him at all? Yeah, once. <laughs> Maybe I should make a bow and arrow before things get too crazy. Well, I mean, I have a bow from all the skeletons. And I have arrows too. So I'm just going to get a bow and arrow. Hey, we have armor. Or I'm wearing armor, so that's cool. Um, you need help? I'm making a break for the house. I need some food. Okay. And I don't want to lose this peach sapling. Yes, do not lose that. I don't know how important it is, but don't lose it. I'm about to test the whole do you get one or two ingots from a dust in the smeltery thing. After we're done with Wispy. No, I'm just dropping a copper ore dust in here at the moment and see what happens. Hmm, he's zipping around over there. Yeah, 
I'm getting ready. I got him. Is he gone? He is dead, sir. Oh, he drops. Uh, There's a lot of bad yeah. guys over here, buddy. That is funny. There's just a ton of these things. How many? There's 150 entities in here at the moment. I'll go get the magnet. <laughs> good idea. We should come up with a faster way of killing them. This is a good experience farm, though. Alright, you magnet that stuff up. I want to go test and see what happened with our thing over here. Okay. My hunger dropped pretty quickly, too. Done cooking yet, copper ore dust? Almost. So this will officially tell us if we double our ore output by smelting in this way. If we do, that's good, but we're going to have to really get a lot of lava then, Pahamar. Yeah, I think we're going to need to get ourselves multiple crucibles going. Yeah, definitely. Alright, copper ore dust coming up. Suspense is killing me. Alright, we've got two ingots worth of copper in here, buddy. Nice, so it does double. Yeah. That's actually really good news for us. Yep, it doubled. All right, I got us down to under 90 entities. <laughs> that is hilarious. I'm going to uh, stop recording for a minute. What I want to do is, I guess what I'll do is move all of our tool stuff over there. Yep, I think that's a good idea. And I'm yeah, going to I'll keep go. working on adding fences to our path here so it's a little bit safer. Okay. Maybe I'll make a quick pattern chest. We have another wisp. Another one? He got out again? That's funny that they keep getting out. I don't think that they're half block high ones. This one doesn't seem to be hostile. That other one didn't for a while either. Well, they should be like either like... Uh, like the pig, zombie pigmen, where they're not hospital until attacked, or they're hospital, period, on their way out. Somebody told me, by the way. Oh, wow. That's cool. All right, Pahamar, I'm going to make us something pretty good. YouTube, I'll be right back. So, Dyer, we are yes, getting a little long in the footage this episode. A long in the footage? Yeah, yeah. I figure we use the long in the tooth thing for a little too, uh, too many times. So, okay. I'm wondering, uh, have you finished everything you were looking to do? It looks like you got some aluminum brass being uh, casted. Indeed. And I've uh, got another upgrade coming over to this thing. That is a lot of That's molten lot. aluminum brass. And oh, that is oh, a lot that. of iron dust coming down. Yeah, I'm cooking up a bunch of iron dust. Um, and I'm also going to throw, I think, some copper dust in there since I just happen to have it on me. This is pretty awesome. Yeah. So do you know this little trick with the smeltery, by the way? Trick? No. You know how to cast uh, ingots, right? I do know that, yes. Do you know how to cast blocks? I do know that as well. You put a basin in and a faucet. You got it. Nice, dude. Do you know how to make sure uh, which one comes out first? Which liquid comes out? Uh, no, I don't know that. Um, on the smeltery interface, just click on the liquid. Like left click. That's it? 
Yeah. See how it um see how it swaps order. Oh, I see. So the, is it the one on top that comes out or the one on the bottom? Bottom. Okay. Okay. I didn't know that. Maybe I am yeah, still a hockey noob. noob. Do you have a magnet? Wondering if I lost a couple pieces of copper in there. No, they no, fell they out. Fell I got them here. Got... Okay, cool. You can throw them in the interface if you want. Alright, so I'm going to dump out this um, iron that we've gotten here because I want to make something next episode. I think we have to wrap up now, but next episode I'm going to make something that's going to significantly help us uh, with wood collection. Now that we have a smell three going, we can really, really increase the speed at which we collect wood. Sound like a plan? I think I know what you're talking about, and yes, definite plan. Cool, man. All right, do you want to wrap up the episode for us? This is Pahamar and Direwolf20 wrapping up episode four of Agrarian Skies. Take it easy. Take it easy, guys.